What's up everyone, it's the Awesome Dan here, and today I'll be breaking down the newest trailer for Marvel's The Avengers Infinity War. We've been waiting for the Infinity War for over 10 years, ever since Iron Man kicked off the MCU, ever since we saw that first glimpse of Thanos at the end of the Avengers, we've been waiting for this, like, it's been building up to this moment, and finally, we have our first, well, technically it's our second, but since this is the first, like, you know, release trailer, we get our first, I'm gonna call it the first, it's gonna be the first trailer for Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. I'm gonna be breaking down play-by-play play of, of this trailer. I'm gonna show you guys all the cool Easter eggs I found, all the cool references, and my predictions of what's going to happen in Marvel's Fantasy War based on what I've seen in the trailer. But first things first, guys, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that cool bell thing on the side to stay updated on all the cool Marvel things on my channel. Now, for disclosure, I will not be spoiling any events that happen in Thor Ragnarok. Like, I'll talk a little bit of it, but I'm not going to spoil any major events. Like, like I, like I if it goes with the trailer, I might, like, you know, I, I, I try to stay spoiler-free is what I'm saying. I'm trying to stay, stay spoiler-free. So anything, a any Marvel, anything of the MCU that happens before um, Thor Ragnarok is, is fair game. Like, that includes Netflix shows, Age of S.H.I.E.L.D., any, every, everything before Thor Ragnarok um, is fair game. I'm going to talk about it in length, spoilers and all. But anything with Thor Ragnarok, I'm going to try my best not to spoil anything. So here we go, guys. The trailer for Marvel's Infinity War. Woo! I watched the trailer, like, almost, like, 50 times right now. So here, here's like uh, the very first thing on the trailer, you just see this. Now, clearly this is not Earth, so where the hell is this? Like, I really want to know what planet is this? Maybe this, may, is this is Thanos' home planet? Or is this probably Earth when Thanos invades? Like, when Thanos comes to Earth, maybe, like, so much destruction, so much devastation, maybe this is, like, the, the calamity of it. Probably not, probably just another planet, but, you know. There was thought. an idea. Alright, so here... Iron Man, a.k.a. Tony Stark, a.k.a. Robert Downey Jr. See, when I first saw this, I thought he was holding a bloody hand. But now, as you look closer, he's, he's kind of holding his own hand. He's like, he's holding his hand in shock. Like, something, like, something horrible has happened. Now, over here, I don't know what the hell the thing is, but I'm pretty sure it's not on Earth. I'm pretty sure Tony Stark is not on Earth. What's leading me to believe that maybe the entire fight, maybe the entire movie, doesn't happen on Earth. Maybe parts of the fight happen on Earth, but then they move to another planet, which, leads, which like, leads it to believe that that planet we saw in the beginning, this whole planet here, maybe that's where the fight, like, no, fight happens. Because it seems, like, similar. See orange skies here, see orange sky, like, it leads me to believe that, yeah, probably, they're gonna be going from planet to planet. Which would be really interesting, I actually can't want to know how they're gonna, how they gonna know to go to planet to planet. How are they gonna actually go to planet to planet? They never had a fight like this. They never had anything, like, they never had anything to do. That's, that's more of a, the Guardians of the Galaxy territory. That's never been the main territory for the Avengers. So I really want to see how, like, that's gonna integrate. To bring together a group of remarkable people. You see, here's one other thing I found super, super interesting. Now... Bruce Banner, a.k.a. the Hulk, fell through the sky. He fell, he just crash landed. He said, woo! Go douche. Crash landed right in front of Doctor Strange. And I totally forgot this dude's name. I totally forgot what his name is. But he crash landed right in front of Doctor Strange. And this is the first time Doctor Strange has ever seen or actually met Hulk face to face. I really would kind of want to see both of them go at it. Like, I really want to see, like, both of them fight and see who wins. Like, magic versus pure brute strength. I really want to see who fight. My money's on Doctor Strange. Like, like my, as, lo, as much as I like the Hulk, my money's got to be on Doctor Strange. To see if and he, okay, here's one of the cooler, like, aspects of the trailer, what I think. Is that Scarlet Witch and... We could become something more. Vision here. Scarlet Witch and Vision are kind of, like, their relationship is going to the next level. They are building their relationship just like they did in the comics. Now, in the comics, Scarlet Witch and Vision are actually married. They do marry, and I do believe they actually have a kid together. Now, this is interesting, because this, this seems like the approach that Marvel is taking with these two characters. How, you can tell, like, if you ever watched Civil War, a tell Age of Ultron, you can tell these characters are starting to build a relationship. These characters are starting to like each other. Especially in Civil War. They, they kind of, like, you know, they really, like, put that out there that they were really trying to go at each other. They really do like each other. And here, we're trying to see them have a normal life. Even though that um, Scarlet Witch, she was part of Captain America's team at Civil War, and basically they were all arrested, but they all escaped... We see here, Vision probably trying to protect her. Like, maybe, like, they all know they escaped, and Vision was, and Wanda probably came to Vision, and it's like, hey, you know, I'm scared, or like, you know, I have nowhere to go, or like, you know, I don't know what to do. Vision's like, okay, I'll protect you, I'll save you. And one of the coolest things about this is that here, 
Vision looks more human. He doesn't look like the Vision, like, you know, that we see in Civil War or in the comics. He looks more human. And that's leading me to believe that maybe Vision is trying to integrate into society. Maybe he's trying to be more human. That maybe, like, he's, this is, like, maybe this is, like, this is a way of him saying he doesn't want to be an Avenger. He doesn't want to be a hero. Of him trying to be human. That maybe he give it, he's giving up the whole Avenger thing and wants to be a human for Wanda. That he wants to live a normal life with the with the woman that he loves, a.k.a. Scarlet Witch. So when they... And this, I think that this is definitely Thor, but this whole thing, I really want to believe it's inside the Mulatto. I really want to believe that this is inside Star-Lord's ship. And I... I see, see, somebody told me that... It's, um, so, me and my friend actually had an argument of the name of Star-Lord's ship. I said the Mulatto. You said something else. I'm pretty sure I was right. <laughs> Even though, like, it slipped my mind for a second, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Mulatto. But this probably is inside the Mulatto, and Thor is probably looking... These are probably, like, screens, like, you know, like, screens looking down at probably Thanos' past conquest. So, like, maybe Thanos destroyed multiple planets. Like, he conquered multiple planets. And this is dumb, like, you know... Like, Thor, like, analyzing it. And probably this is how the Guardians know that Earth is in danger. Probably they have this little thing, Madoohickey here. And they're like, okay, they see Earth here, and they see Earth in danger. And that's probably how they, they get there, how and why they get there. They see Earth in danger, like, oh, crap, we gotta go and help. They needed us. We could fight the battles. And here, here is actually, one thing I really love is that Black Panther, the movie Black Panther... It's supposed to come out before Infinity War. I believe Black Panther should be out, I want to say February or January. One of, those, one of those two months, Black Panther's out. So the event of Black Panther happens before Infinity War. And we see here, this is probably Wakanda. Like, this whole this whole back area here, it is probably Wakanda. Which means that to, to uh, Black Panther, I, to Chuck, to, uh, I, I can't ever say a date without like choking up, but I'm just gonna call him Black Panther. To, uh, to, wait, to Chonka, right? I forgot. That's, uh, I can't say a date without choking up. I keep, oh, uh, okay. Black Panther. So Black Panther kind of opens up, you know, Wakanda to the Avengers, because I'm pretty sure he keeps Wakanda hidden from the world. And maybe, like, like somehow he trusts the Avenger enough to open up Wakanda. And we see already the Hulkbuster's arm. We see the Hulkbuster and Bruce Banner. So, somehow, he's going to come back to Earth. And probably Bruce Banner is going to find out about the Sokovian Accords. And he's probably going to find out about Civil War and all that. Now, I really want to see their like Bruce Banner and Thor's approach to what happened in Civil War. Because those two were in there. The Hulk, Bruce Banner, Hulk, and Thor, they were in Civil War. They don't, they, to them, they don't know what happened. Like, they don't know what happened in Civil War. So the, to come back and see their friends, their Avengers separated, the, I really want to see how they're going to react to that. And it seems that he's really not taking it too well. Like, he's looking at her face, he's like, oh, what? Like, he's not really taking it too well. And I'd really like to see, like, the Hulkbuster. We're going to see more than a trailer later on. Now, here we get Scarlett Johansson's first look at, like, I kind of like her, like, I don't know how I feel about, like, her blonde hair, like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, Scarlet Witch has always had, like, you know, kind of like a redhead, you know, kind of, like, look to her. But I don't know, like, how I feel about Bruno. Like, I kind of like, I kind of, I'm kind of digging it. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of digging it. But it's like, um, uh, changes to the character. I don't know. But I, I'm, 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 I, I got to admit, she's kind of rocking the brunette look. He never could. Oh, the new, the new Marvel logo. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, okay, That another one that reminds me of this, Ant-Man. Now, he's been surprisingly absent from anything Infinity War related. Like, from all the stills I've seen, from all, like, the trailers, the two trailers, the one from Comic-Con and this one, he is surprisingly absent. So I'm wondering what Ant-Man's role is going to be in Infinity War, because everyone else I've seen in it, you know, Hulk's in it, Iron Man's in it, Black Panther's in it, Scarlet Witch, not sorry, Scarlet Witch is in it, Black Widow's in it, Star Lord's in it, but I've not, like, I haven't seen anything to do with Ant-Man, so I'm wondering what's his role going to be in it. <laughs> now, this is a, 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 over, a overshot of um, New York, and another cool interesting fact is, here, this used to be the Avengers Tower. Now, before, there'd be, like, a big, like, Stark logo on here, but that's not there anymore. I don't know if it's, like, a different angle, but I don't really see the giant Stark logo on here, which leads me to believe, like, what's happened to Stark Industries. Like, is something gonna be different? Like, what? What's going on here? Entire 
Now here we have, you know, Doctor Strange meeting Iron Man and Hulk. AKA, he meeting Tony Stark and Bruce Banner for the first time. Now this is going to be interesting because I really want to see both Tony Stark's and Bruce Banner's reaction to Doctor Strange. Because Doctor Strange uses magic. So I really want to see their, like, behavior and how they react to somebody who actually uses magic. Because these two guys, they're smart as hell. They're science smart. They're not magic smart. And maybe they don't even believe in magic. But then when they see Doctor Strange, it's like, oh yeah, use magic. Probably, they're not going to be, they're probably going to be like, yeah, well, I don't believe you. Well, that's just a fake. And Doctor Strange's like, yeah, I'm going to put you in a place now. What the hell, magic bolt? So I really want to see how they're going to react to somebody who actually uses, uses and practices magic. Right. Wait, and another thing, I see the stone. Ooh, whatever, what happened to Doctor Strange's Infinity Stone? I know he put it back, but ooh, it's missing. You will know what it's like to lose. Yeah, see? And that's another like aspect of like probably Tony Stark is probably not believing in Doctor Strange, but he just gets up and leaves. He's like, yeah, nah, I'm out of here. Boop. Now this, this is the other part. Right. It really, oh, this really got me so excited. This is Spider Sense. Now this is the first like look at Spider Sense. So yeah, here it go up. Right. Huh? Spider Sense. Take it away. All the same. Duh. Now here, like, this is the first look at Spider Sense. Now this was surprisingly absent in Civil War. When we first meet Spider Man, Spider Sense was surprisingly absent. Now we have sort of a clear look of what it is. His hair is sticking up, like you know, just right, just like chilling there. All of a sudden, huh? Danger? Huh? Huh? What's that? My Spider Sense is tingling. Hold on! He's like, huh? My Spider Sense is tingling. Puts it down. Huh? I like how he covers it. That's a really interesting thing. How he, his hair is sticking up and he just immediately covers it. Like, huh? I know he's trying to hide the fact that he's Spider-Man, but that's really interesting. Like, I really like I, I, I found that really interesting, how he covers up the hairs so nobody sees it, so nobody sees the Spider-Sense. And boom, he sees this giant thing in the sky, which, wow, like, what the hell is this thing? This part of Thanos' plan, like, like this was obviously part of Thanos' invasion plan, but what does that have to do with it? Like, what is a giant circle in the sky? Is this some sort of, like, giant portal that Thanos is going to use to try and just go through the world? Because he... Like this, like what is the thing? What is it doing in New York? And what's Spider-Man gonna do about it? Dread it. Yeah, see, all, all right, magic users, and they're like, huh? I kind of like Tony Stark's new look, but one thing I've I've seen surprising absent, like in like from the beginning of the trailers, is that Tony Stark without a suit. Like I would expect him to see, a, especially when he meets Doctor Strange and all that. I expect him to be in a suit or at least have like a backup suit or something. But I don't see any of that here, even though he's part of like you know, he, he like he's part of the excuse me, part of the Sokovian Corps and all that. I expect him to have at least have a suit on hand, like suit ready just in case. But no, I don't see any of that here. And already destruction, like already that giant circle in the sky. Like, what is that there? Like, you see here, that like, you know, it's spinning. It's, like, revving up. It's doing that weird... It's revving up. And already, you can tell destruction. Like, already, like, Thanos is already attacking. This giant thing, real thing, is something not good. It's causing all this destruction. Dread it. And already, like, already, they gotta take action. Like, already, they see destruction. It's like, okay, we gotta take action. Run. Now, here is actually one thing I found really interesting. It's this. You see how, like, Loki stepped over? Destiny still around. Now, one thing that a lot of people are speculating, and I actually have to agree with them a little bit, and I really hope it's happening, and that this is when they try to integrate the movies with some of the TV shows. Now, one thing I really love to see is the Defenders mixing into all this, because how are the Defenders going to react to New York, cause, like, to New York being destroyed? Because... They're, they, all the heroes in the Defenders, especially in the Netflix show, they all reside in New York. And it can guarantee you that they're definitely going to hear something about this. Now, what I speculated that the by the bodies that Loki is stepping over are warriors of Kun Lun. Probably not, because if you ever watch, if you watch the Iron Fist show at the end, Kun Lun disappeared. And we don't know what happened to everyone. Like, we assume that they're all dead. We assume that everyone died, but we don't know for sure. So probably they're not all dead. They just teleport somewhere else. And this, these are the bodies left of Kalun. And this is Loki stepping over them. Because what one thing that I could like, I think like you know supports this is boom right here. Some of the outfits they're wearing. Now, although some people did say that they are they're the same outfits or similar outfits to the um to the training outfit that Doctor Strange and other um apprentices wore in Doctor Strange, but it could also be the outfits of the monks and Chun Lun. It could also very much be that, and especially the buildings here. 
they reminisce of something that that will, that will be in Chun Lun. But then again, it would also reminisce of something that will be in Doctor Strange. So it could go either way. And I'd really love to see a mixture of the Defenders of, and the Avengers here. It doesn't have to be a big one. It can be like maybe the Defenders are facing off against, you know, like Thanos' minions on the ground while the Avengers face Thanos himself. Like the, the Defenders get the minions, get like, you know, save New York while the Defenders go and save, you know, save plants. Like some, something like that. Like, it ha like I would love to see that because I would love to see Daredevil face off against Iron Man, or Daredevil, you know, meeting Iron Man, or Punisher meeting Black Widow. Like, I would love to definitely see those interactions. Destiny still arrived. Now, here is actually our first look at them. See right here, right there. Fuck! Now, automatically, that hat, like... Ugh, like, why? Why? Why don't you have this weird crown hat thingy? Because in all the Easter eggs we've seen of Thanos, he has his iconic crown hat thing. Here, when we see him, we don't see any of that. We don't see any of that. And here, what, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to, like, yeah, here, ugh, here, we don't, is this, like, Earth? Like, th I think this is still Earth. It possibly could be Earth. This could be the level of destruction Thanos brings. Now, he, he already destroyed the shit out of New York, and boom, coming through a portal. Now, one thing, yeah, clearly he does, he doesn't have the helmet, and he's coming in, he's looking all curious, like, he's like, what is this place, like, you know, he's looking all curious, he doesn't look like he's ready to conquer, he looks like he's just exploring a little bit, like he's trying to, like, figure out where is, where he, where is he, even though he knows exactly this is Earth, he's, like, trying to kill the shit out of everyone here, he looks, still looks curious, so he maybe, maybe, just maybe, there's more to Thanos conquering, just straight up, I'm gonna conquer and kill everything. And here we get our first look at Spider-Man's new suit. Now, at the end of Homecoming, we see, though, know, Tony Stark was about to give, you know, was going to offer Spider-Man a new suit if he joined the Avengers. And Spider-Man was like, um, I'm not ready for it yet. I still want to be friendly neighborhood with Spider-Man. I'm not ready for the Avengers yet. Which, understandable, we sh and Iron Man offered him this suit. Now, we see here him wearing the suit. So maybe this could be, like, his combat suit. Now, this suit... It is very reminiscent, very look, reminiscent of the armored spider suit from the comics. Now, probably this could be like Spider Man's suit when he faces against big bad guys, like big armored guys. Now, a lot of people are saying this is gonna be Spider Man's like permanent suit, so, like after Infinity War. This is gonna be the suit that he's gonna wear. That's gonna be in Homecoming too. Now, I I don't know how I feel about that because I do like his new outfit, but it doesn't really say, you know classical, like, you know, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, it says more of battle-hardened, like, you know, battle armor Spider-Man. It says more of armor Spider than, ar than like, Spider-Man. The, the suit that he wore in Homecoming felt more like a Spider-Man suit. This felt, this feel, this suit here feels more like an armor. It feels more like an armor suit than anything. Now, another interesting thing to point out are the eyes. See how they, that's weird, like, how they turn on and glow. Now, before, in Homecoming, like, it showed, they, in Homecoming and Civil War, it said, they told that his eye, like, the his eyes, like, zoomed in and out because of his spire powers. Gave him, like, a, like, a very, like, giant, uh, giant, it basically boosted his senses, basically. It boosted his senses, so he used that so he doesn't get overwhelmed. Now, here, it turns on, which, which I find really cool. It, it finds really cool. It's, that's another thing that shows that it's more, it feels more mechanic than organic. His suit feels a lot more mechanic. Then we'll get Evacuate the city. And he's also on that giant wheel thing. So probably that's pro this whole scene probably happens while he's on the bus. Like he's like he's see he's on the bus, spire sense tingling, he sees this, he's like, okay, I gotta get into action, but let me get the new armored spider suit from Tony Stark. I wonder why like he's still he's wearing this instead of his regular spider suit because probably he doesn't even, he doesn't know what's happening he doesn't know thanos is invading he doesn't, he doesn't know anything about Thanos. he just knows this giant thing in the sky so why is he wearing the armored spider suit rather than his original like classical spider suit Wait, the city. here is another here's another thing i find interesting like, what is this we see thor trying to hold on or trying to stop this giant machine but what is this machine it could be trying to charge something up it could be trying to, yeah it looks like a machine that's trying to charge something up trying to blow the crap out of something now here's another cool sh shot I, I missed yeah here this who is this guy i don't want to spoil it i don't want to tell you guys how to spoil it but leave it in the comment section if you know who this guy is all i'm gonna say is that he works for Thanos. he's basically like Thanos' elite he is Thanos' elite and who is he? Like, he throws a giant spear. So basically, this whole area could be 
like the secret Avengers base. Because over here it looks more like computers and all that stuff, like, you know, Intel machines. This could be the secret Avengers base. And so yeah! And we all, we're like, we already know who this is. Like, what the? Like, he grabs the spear. Like, we already know who this is. If you don't know who this is, you'll find out later. Like, just... Yeah, just, just like, just, just, yeah, take a guess who he is. Just take a wild guess. And he just throws the spear, like, of course, they're not, he, he, of course, like, you know, he's not a friendly guy. And he goes, who the hell is that, Black Shadow? Ha, huh, take a spear. And he's like, oh, that spear? Nope. <laughs> he's like, oh, that's a cute spear. Mine now. <laughs> now, fast forward a little bit here. And he gets Black this man. Now, I really do like the beard that he has. I'm not going to lie, I really do enjoy the beard. This man is shield. Now, now, the fact that he said that, get this man a shield, me to believe that him and Captain America are kind of buddy buddies now. Now, what is Captain America doing in Wakanda? Which, yeah, basically, what if he didn't hear it, let's rewind a little bit here. Uh, engage all defenses. Engage all defenses. Oh, ha! Give me a shield. Give me this man, man a shield. Which means that probably thousands of forces are attacking Wakanda. Now, most likely they're attacking because of Vibranium. They're attacking because of the resource they have there. But maybe what else are they attacking? Like, they, it can't be just the resources. It can't, that, cause Thanos couldn't be attacking just for the resources. There has to be something else there that Thanos would want. Maybe, maybe at the end of Black Panther, maybe he gets one of the Infinity Stones. Maybe he achieves it somehow. Like, and that's why Thanos is attacking Wakanda. Because probably one of the Infinity Stones are there. And that's, and that's what he wants. He'll probably go to Wakanda, go to destroy Wakanda, and get the Infinity Stone. And here we see Captain America, aka Steve Rogers, with that rocket killer beard. Like, damn! Like, oh, 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 oh that beard! And he, yeah, here, here that supports my secret adventure base. One does here, and she probably sees that. It's like, huh, Captain America, huh, you're here to save us all. Oh, you cut the spear. Boom! The Hulkbuster armor. And once again, Wakanda. So probably this is where everybody meets up. Maybe. Everybody finds most of the secret Avengers and no, the new Avengers and the old Avengers. Maybe they meet up. Maybe they both need to go to Wakanda for for a secret purpose. Like maybe the secret Avengers reasons for going, the new Avengers reason for going to Wakanda, and the secret Avengers reason reasons for going to Wakanda. Maybe like maybe they may be the similar. Maybe they like maybe they realize that Thanos after the that Thanos is after the Infinity Stones, and they both go after him. And they both meet Wakanda. And I really, really want to see that interaction <coughs> between both of them meet each other. Because cause at, the end, at the end of the Civil War, they kind of didn't leave on buddy-buddy terms. They kind of left on, this is your fault, I'm throwing you in prison. Oh, really? You're throwing me in prison? I'm going to break out, but if you need me, I'm always here for you. That's, they pretty much left it on a very awkward note. And I really want to see the interaction they have between them. Especially when they meet. You know, Doctor Strange, especially when they meet um, Hulk and Thor after not seeing them for f such a long time. Hulkbuster! Uh, yep, another get another one shot of Scarlet Witch, uh, Scar uh, Scarlett Johansson, aka Black Widow, in her blonde in her blondness. Now she is clearly stabbing somebody. Now, if I had to guess, she was stabbing this dude. She was definitely stabbing the crap out of like, yeah, this dude. If I had to guess. The whole this this whole thing is a fight. You know, he comes in, maybe trying to steal the Infinity Stone for Thanos. He he throws a spear. He goes, "Oh, give me that spear!" And then they have a giant fight, which includes Scarlet Witch, and of course maybe you know, uh, Black Widow gets the upper hand and now and stabs him. Now the first time I've actually ever seen Black Widow actually kill somebody in the MCU. So maybe she's like, "Oh, I don't kill people, but I will kill freaky alien dudes with giant spears." Of course, we see, once again, Doctor Strange with his magic, but then again, we don't see the Infinity Stone here. Like, wh what happened to that? Boosh. Now, this is another one. Like, what the hell What the hell is this? Now, it could be, like, a transport pod for Thanos' army. It could also be something else. Like, I don't know what it is. I really want to say it's some sort of transport pod, because it's coming straight from the sky, straight from space. So it could be, like, a transport pod for Thanos' army. Oh. Duh. Now, this is another interesting one. Now, they're all fighting what looks like Wakanda. They're fighting like a giant fight Wakanda. And over here, you see Wakandian soldiers. You see the soldiers fighting some giant alien. Like, what the hell are these things? Like, what alien... What, what, what kind of alien are these guys? Leave it in the comment section if you know what aliens... Like, what these aliens are. Now, I see Black Panther, you know, having a good fight with them. Like, slice, slice. 
Now he slashes the crap out of them like really good, like ugh. But but they have heavy armor on. And here we see Spider Man versing up against Thanos, and of course Thanos is beating his ass. Like he slams to the ground, like da, what, cut da, have the ground, hot da. Like he's fighting Thanos, and here. It's, he already has the Fated Gauntlet. Now, we don't see a good shot of the Gauntlet. Like, we don't see if he has any of the stones in them. So I'm not sure if the Gauntlet's complete. But we do know Thanos is strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sparman and slam him down. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. Now, this, is not, this here is actually one of my favorite scenes of the trailer. Because a lot of people are speculating who's going to die in Infinity War. I think this is the first shot of, like, a first shot of, of Vision dying. Cause he, cause Vision needs that stone. Vision, oh not Vision, oh sorry. Thanos needs the all the power stones in order to complete the Infinity Gauntlet, and the Mind Stone is embedded inside Vision's like forehead. So he's gonna have to get that out somehow. So th this is probably this is like what I think is gonna happen, is that they're gonna find Vision, they're gonna fight Vision, they're gonna get the upper hand, they're gonna pin Vision down and forcibly remove the Mind Stone from Vision's head, which. Of course, it looks very painful. It looks, oh, it looks really painful. And I guess this is how they kill Vision. Now, Wanda is not going to be too happy about that. Maybe Vision realizes that they're gonna, they're attacking because they want the stone, and he sacrifices himself to save Wanda. And this is how Wanda gets to the fight. He's like, "You killed my husband. You killed the guy I love. You know, I'm gonna come after you, Thanos. GG, Tom. GG, Tom Thanos. GG." Here, here, okay, here is another shot of the Finnegan. Now we see Thanos. Putting in what looks like the space stone. It looks like he's putting in. He already had the power stone already in the gauntlet, and he's putting the space stone in. Now the the gauntlet is not complete. Now, if I remember correctly, what's still missing is the mind stone, the the mind stone, this time stone. He already has the power in, in mind. No, 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 he already had the power in space stone. So he's missing the time stone, the the mind stone, the the time stone, and I'm. I'm, 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 f I'm fudge! I'm forgetting the different stuff. But leave it in the comment section if you know the stone that he's missing. He's missing, he's missing a bunch of other stones. I really want to know like how he's gonna achieve that. How is he going to get those stones? But like we already know how he's gonna get the mind stone. He's gonna get from Vision. But how is he gonna how is he gonna get the time stone from Doctor Strange? How is he gonna get you no know, the other stones? Like where is he gonna get these stones? Like how is he gonna get achieve these stones? And here, like, he's admiring the suit. He's admiring, like, oh, yeah, look at this glove. Look at my glove. Look at my glove. Look at this. And he's, like, looping over Iron Man now. This is Iron Man's new suit. I gotta admit, it looks pretty snappy. Looks really good. It does put a smile on my face. Once again, power and space stone lighting up. But he doesn't have the other stones. He doesn't have the time stone. He doesn't have the mind stone yet. So, I... So, like, how's he gonna get... Like, he's gonna get the mind stone from... Vision, he's gonna get the time stone from Doctor Strange, but how? Like, how is he gonna get these stones? That's really, I actually really want to find out. Like, how is he gonna get the the mind stone, the the, the time stone from Doctor Strange? Like, how? Like, I really want to like how's he gonna do this? Like, it's gonna be interesting. I really want to see a fight between Thanos and Doctor Strange. I really want. I really want to know like, like has Doctor has Doctor Strange ever faced anybody as powerful as Thanos before? Like, what's his gonna be? His, what's his reaction? To the fa to seeing such a powerful being like this, like what's gonna be his reaction? Like, whoo! I really want that. That's like really like gonna be like a really high point. Is like, like Doctor Strange, because I why what a lot of people are saying that uh, Doctor Strange is gonna play such a huge part in what's gonna happen. He's gonna play such a huge, huge, huge part of what's gonna happen, and that's gonna be really oh soul gem. There is soul gem. There we go. That's the one I was forgetting. No, the reality gem. That's the one I was forgetting. The reality gem. It's going to be reality, mine, and I'm um, fucking tired. So, yeah, there we go. I had to literally, oh, I had to literally, I had to literally go back into my notes and look up, like, what were the stones. I had to look up to my MCU. Yeah, I keep, I keep, literally, I literally have a book where like, different MCU notes, like, around down so I can do videos like these. I'm looking back. Yeah, so that's the thing. I want to know how he's going to get these stones. Boosh! And now we see here, Iron Man going up against Thanos, and we see here he's kind of cowering a little bit. Like Iron Man, he's kind of cowering a little bit. He's like, he's like, no, don't. And Thanos is like, nah, fuck you. Ha! Oh, meet my friend, Mr. Righty. What the? And he beats, he punches the crap out of Iron Man, knocking him down. Is Iron Man down for the count? Like, 
what's happening. This is probably the same area where he grabs Spider-Man and slams him down. So maybe this whole fight is where we first meet Thanos, where we first fight the mad Titan Thanos. And here's like, here is another, another shot of the Wakandan warriors and Bucky Barnes, AKA the Warrior Soldier, arming up to probably fight Thanos' forces. Yep, Wakandan warriors, we see Steve Rogers in the background, AKA, well, is he still gonna be called Captain America? Cause I think him dropping the shield in Civil War was him letting go of his persona of Captain America, of him letting go of that ideology. Now we see, he, we're gonna call him Steve Rogers for now, cause we don't know if he's really Captain America yet, but we're gonna call him Steve Rogers. We see Steve Rogers, Bucky Barnes, and the Wakandian warriors getting ready to fight. They're ready to fight. Oh, oh, okay. So here's really another interesting part. It, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. All right. So we have Falcon here going in toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, providing air support. We have the Hulkbuster armor here. Now, it's kind of hard to see if you, if you see any other, if you can see any other um, heroes fighting. I want to say, I want to say this could be probably Bucky Barnes. I, I, it's kind of hard to see, but it seems that they're all fighting together once again as a team. Now, they probably band together to fight Thanos, and what's go like, when they stop Thanos, are there still going to be buddy buddies, or they're going to be like, hey, yeah, thanks for saving us, but we're still got part ways. <laughs> da, da, da. Squad goals! Okay, squad goal time. This is squad goals. But yeah, we see Black Panther. From, wait, let's start from left to right. We see War Machine. A Winter Soldier, Black Widow, Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, Hulk, Black Panther, the Tatanga Warriors, and Falcon. Now, they're all getting back now, they're all fighting what I assume is Thanos' forces. And they're all getting back together. Now I really want to see like how they get together. And the fact that here, this is another thing I find interesting is look closely at Steve Rogers' arms. Look at that. He has a shield, but it's not his classical Captain America shield. It's something totally different. So maybe he doesn't, like, use the the shield that has, like, the Captain America shield, but he still uses some sort of shield. And as you can see in his outfit, even though it's not classical Captain America outfit, you still see, like, it still resembles that a little bit. You see, like, the blue patterns. You see, like, the star in the middle. Even though it's not a white star, you still see a pattern of a star in the middle of his chest, which leads me to believe Maybe even though he gave up the persona of being Captain America, he still holds on to that. He still holds on to the idea of Captain America, even though he dropped the shield and that's him way. Even though it's him dropping the shield, him saying that he's giving up on Captain America, maybe he still holds part of Captain America within him. Maybe he knows Captain America is who he is no matter what. The, the, the Now, you guys don't you guys, now you guys don't think that oh maybe there's no Easter eggs hidden in hidden in the in the fucking like tile screen, but there actually is. Now one thing I find interesting is that before Infinity War was gonna be a two parter. It was gonna be Infinity War Part One and Infinity War Part Two. Now here we don't see any of that. We don't see part one. We don't see any of that. It just says Avengers Infinity War. It just says Infinity War. We don't see Infinity War Part One. So is this still gonna be a two parter? Or is it or is it like merged into one? Is a part one, part two merged into one? Now, if they are going to do a two-parter, maybe that could be a great way to integrate the Defenders. That could be a great way to in integrate, you know, the Netflix shows and the and the and the Age of Shield. Because maybe the first part could be about the Avengers, and maybe at the end of the part one, we see Daredevil, we see the Defenders, or at least one of the Defenders. And maybe they're like, they, maybe they're like, hey, bro, I want to help. Hey, we heard can you help us like that? And that's them trying to integrate, you know, into the event. Maybe they're like, hey, you know, Thanos is too tough for us. We can get some help. Like, hey, you know, I've heard this guy who wears, you know, who beats up people in the house kitchen. Also, I heard about this guy who protects Harlem and he's completely bulletproof. Like, maybe they know about the defenders and they integrate them in, into helping. Because you have to admit, the events that happen in the Netflix shows, they have, like, the Avengers have to have known about it. Like, 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 go watch, like, I'm not gonna, like, how am I, how am I gonna say this properly? The events that happen, like, they have to heard about the tower being blown. They have to have heard about Daredevil. They have to have heard about Frank Castle. They have to have at least heard, or at least, like, somewhat known about the Defenders' activities in New York. Because a, cause a lot of the Avengers are based in New York. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, a lot of them are in New York. So they have to have at least heard or have some knowledge of the Defenders.
If they don't, then what the fuck? <laughs> like, the what? How, like, what? Like, come on, guy, come on. Okay, here we go. Easter egg time. Ready? Thor with his eye patch. Um, uh, um, um, I'm not gonna spoil it because Thor Ragnarok, but. Mm, <laughs> Who the hell are you guys? Boom! Guards of the Galaxy. Now, now, now he's like, Who the hell are you guys? Star Lord's like, well, <laughs> we're the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now here, we all we know the Guardians of the Galaxy are gonna be in Infinity War. They're gonna be with the Avengers. Now, that's gonna be really interesting. Maybe Thanos can introduce something. Like, hey, you know, this is Star Lord, and this is the Guardians of the Galaxy, and they're cool. Now here we see Star Lord, Teen Groot, Gamora, Mantis, Rocket, and Drax. Now I really want to, I really want to know what their what their thoughts of of the Avengers, are, what the thoughts of the events of um, like of the Earth of Earth <laughs> of Earth because. I don't think they know about the Avengers yet. I don't think Star-Lord or any of the Guardians know anything about the Avengers or anything that happened on Earth prior to <coughs> anything. I don't think they know anything about Earth. I really want to see their reactions to the Avengers, their reactions to everything else. And boom! May 2018, guys. That's when Infinity War's coming out, on May 2018th. We don't have the exact date, but that's close enough, guys. So let me know right now in the comments what you guys think of Marvel's Infinity War. Did I miss anything else? Did I miss any references or any Easter eggs in the trailer? If I missed any of them, please let me know in the comment section. And I want to know who do you think lives or dies in Marvel's Infinity War. I really want to know what do you guys think who lives or dies. Because this is, like, we've been waiting for Infinity Wars for a long time. We've been waiting for this for a hell of a long time. We've been waiting for this for, like, over 10 years. The MCU has been building up to this moment. It's been building and building and building, and now we get to see the holy creation, the mother of all superhero movies. Now, let me know, guys, what you guys think. What do you think Thanos' plan? Is he just here just to kill all, like, to kill everybody on Earth? Or is this some bigger picture? Is this some bigger meaning of Thanos being on Earth? So let me know in the comments, section, guys. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll def when more trailers of when more trailers come out, I'll definitely be doing more breakdown videos. Um, I'll I want to do a breakdown video on Black Panther in the next, but like the next Black if they have another Black Panther trailer, I'll do another breakdown of it. But I don't think they are. But if they have another Infinity War trailer, I'm definitely gonna do a breakdown. Any other trailers that I think are interesting that deserve like a cool little breakdown, I'll definitely do. But let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do any specific trailer they want me to do a breakdown for. It doesn't even have to be movies. It can be about video games. It can be about TV shows. Any sort of trailer that you that you want me to break down, I can definitely do it for you. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button because I'll definitely talk more about the Avengers and definitely talk more about the Infinity War and the awesomeness that is the MCU. The massiveness of the MCU. And I think that Infinity War trailer... Mwah, like like Marvel, like DC was getting a little bit too comfortable after just the leak. DC was getting a little bit too comfortable and Marvel was like, you know what? We gotta show you guys who really dominates the superhero genre. We gotta show you guys who really dominates. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click, click that subscribe button and that cool little bell thing on the side so you can stay up there and all the cool MCU news on my channel. And without further ado, guys, thank you all. Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye-bye.